Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears. Day three at Photo Island, Tim. Uh, it's, a, it's a warm down for some and a more of an intensive session for others. Yeah, a group have been split into two today. Those who featured last night, obviously mostly the youngsters as we know. Uh, a bit of a warm down, a couple of light jogs around the, around the park. And the rest of the first team squad who didn't play last night, as you can see behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, more of an intense session. Plenty of ball work this morning, uh, which will be the theme for them for the rest of the week, I believe. Um, this afternoon they've got a gym session, so it's just the one outdoor session today in what is, again, beautiful weather. Stunning. In Cork. Uh, fantastic week for it here. Uh, so yeah, gym session this afternoon, and then I think a double session of football tomorrow. Just a little bit of a look back on last night. Obviously the youngsters got most of the chances, and plenty of them impressed, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Um, Kenny said before, you know, it's, the, it's, it's up to them to, to grasp the opportunity. Uh, stake their claim for the season ahead as we know it's, it's coming up very fast and, and some of them did impress Connor Roden was one Ennis and Ina Bakari mm -hmm. got on the score sheet and did very well um, O'Hanlon did well at left back the, the, well no, no one disgraced themselves no one no. let themselves down nobody looked out of place mm -hmm. um, and as Kenny said afterwards you know they showed a really good attitude and, and, and they battled to, to win to win the game it wasn't just uh, it wasn't just a kick around you know they really wanted to win and they did a pleasure speaking to some of the fans last night. Very intelligent. A lot of the Irish, Irish friends that know the Wolves' history very, very well, and and lots of them back down here today. Open training session. Yeah, we've got quite a um, quite an assortment of Wolves fans over there, mm -hmm. keeping an eye on training today, uh, which is great. The club have been, I'm, I'm sure the fans would agree, extremely welcoming. Yeah. Um, in and around the hotel, you know, happy to oblige, autograph, selfies, just 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 chats chats with the players, mm -hmm. chats with the manager. Um, it's the kind of access you, you just don't get in the regular season. And also the kind of access you don't really get at, you know, like Premier League clubs, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. Um, you know, Wolves are a big club for their league, but you still, you, they've still got that kind of community, family feel to them. Um, you know, care about the supporters. You know, Kenny, Kenny and the players will go out of the way to to, to speak to fans and sign autographs, etc. Mm. So, so yeah, it's really nice to see everybody mm. mingling in together. This morning, I spoke to quite a few of them. Obviously, most of them were there last night at Cork City. Plenty of disappointment they didn't see maybe four or five first teamers. Okay, you can maybe, you know, say Connor Cody and a couple of others, but, you know, a lot of the squad that played at Crew just didn't feature at all. I mean, there's no getting around it. The Crew team was first choice and last night was second choice. Mm -hmm. um, and you can understand from the fans' point of view, they paid 400 quid to come over here. Yeah. Um, you know, people people revolve their summer holidays around, around these trips every single year. Um, and then you come and see a second string, and that's no disrespect to, to the reserve players, of course, mm -hmm. but, you know, you, you expect to see the first team players when you come out to pay a lot of money and watch a decent game. The fact that it was Cork's, Cork's reserves as well just yeah. kind of took the biscuit, really. Yeah. Um, so it, was, it wasn't the most inspiring of, inspiring of evenings. I could see their point of view, but then you can also see Kenny Jackett's point of view. Mm -hmm. He wants he wants to blood them. He wants to give them a chance. He knows how threadbare his squad is, so he's given them a chance to impress and stake a claim for a first team place. Should he have done it the other way around? Perhaps. I've been playing devil's advocate. I'm not saying they need to play the full game, but could they have maybe played 45 minutes at Cork and 45 minutes here and, and done it that way? Maybe. I mean, we'll speak. We'll speak to Kenny about it this afternoon and get get the full reasoning behind it. Um, you know, there the, the will be a reason why he wanted uh, the first team to play at Crew and the second string to, to be playing here. Mm. Um, so I, I, I can see I can see both sides of you really, but you know, at a time when the club's you know such in limbo, mm. uh, fans are in the dark and unhappy about how quiet the club is. Yeah, which is understandable. Coming about the club about the takeover. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a kind of uh, just a, another little kick in the teeth for some. Let, let's be honest, opinion is quite split on it, really. Yeah. Um, other guys just happy to be here and, and happy to see the youngsters mm -hmm. uh, given an opportunity. And just looking at, at the guys, I mean, yeah, takeover talk and a lot of doom and gloom around the club, but you, you couldn't tell by by a lot of the people around. You know, they're very friendly. The atmosphere seems really, really good. Um, it it does. It does. It, it, you can t you can tell that you can tell that kind of something's going on. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? There's something in the back of their minds. But they're putting on a brave face, aren't they? And they're mucking in, and they're, you know they're getting through it. No, they are. They are. But you know, there's a lot of uncertainty for them as well. They're concerned about their futures. We were talking about the, the coaching staff, all the staff at the club. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if this takeover happens and the new manager comes in, he, he, he could do a clean sweep, get, get rid of everybody, mm -hmm. the physio, the goalkeeping coach, whatever, everybody. So yeah. of course they're going to be worried about their jobs. The players, I think, are probably more worried about the lack of lack of investment over the mm -hmm. summer. Mm -hmm. um, you know that they'll see that, that we've got no 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 senior left winger. We've sure. got one striker, four defenders here. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they're more worried about that because they want to be pushing for promotion this year. Yeah, of course. Um, and if and if Wolves have got the squad to do that, then um, then some of them will, will be considering the future. So I, don't, I think that's fair enough to say. Schedule for the rest of the week. Um, Is it an iron, iron Port Vale now, I assume. 
I am Port Vale, absolutely. Yeah, uh, they fly back on Friday. Um, I expect I'd expect it would be a first choice team at mm -hmm. Port Vale. Um, but as Kenny, Kenny, and some of the coaches have stressed a few times, it's it's a busy week. Um, full sessions every day. Um, no let up with the season so close. It can't really be any other way.